In part one, I gave an overview of the overall construction of the chair and the underlying layout sketches that control it. In part two, we will actually start making some features. The first feature will be this outer surface, which comprises the back and the side. This will be done by sweeping a curve along the back, along the base curve of the perimeter to create this entire side without any additional guide curves. I've rolled back the feature tree to show that process. We will copy this profile from the layout sketch, do so on the right plane using convert entities. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to take the top of this, stretch it out a little bit, and add an arbitrary dimension, I'll say 10 millimeters, to guarantee that the surface we create will have a clean trim when this top edge is removed. It gives us our profile. Now we need the path on the top plane new sketch. I'm going to copy these three arcs from the layout sketch, holding my control key. And instead of using convert entities, I'm going to use my spline tool and make a fit spline that will pull all these together into one smooth arc. And I'll set my tolerance for one, which allow the blend between this corner and these outer arcs to be a little more smooth. Of my profile and my path, go ahead, surfaces, sweep, profile, path, and here's my swept surface. An advantage to this method versus, say, a boundary is it gives us a very smooth, predictable surface. And if we go to evaluate zebra stripes, you see it looks smooth through here, in curvature we see a nice blend between the surfaces without any radical changes. It does get very curvy here and flat here, but we see that it blends together nicely everywhere without any lumps. If we look here we see quite a lot of overhang on the sides which matches the overhang on the back. But we'll be getting rid of that once we do our trim. To do our trim, we are going to be copying this arc from our layout sketch and use that to eliminate this upper area. It's a simple process. We will draw a new sketch on the right plane. Copy this arc using convert entities. Then going to Surfaces, Trim. The trim tool will be our sketch. And we're going to select the portion that we are going to keep. We don't want to keep this part. We want to keep this part here. We'll click on that, check mark. And we've gotten rid of the portion we don't want. Now we see along the sides here, we've only kept the more gentle curving area. And the overhanging area, which had a very radical curvature, has been eliminated. For the first time now, we can actually see what this upper edge looks like in three-dimensional space. It was convenient to wait to get this edge till this point by doing our trim surface, which will then be an edge we can use for attaching the edges of the seat pan and the front legs. Those steps will be left for the next video.